Two men with special needs from the Tahana Odom Nation have been found safe four days after going missing from the Arizona State Fair. 12 News journalist Adriana Loya spent the day looking into what happened to them and has reaction from their families who are now calling for accountability. So much relief. This is, this is just amazing. As soon as I saw him, um, I was already smiling. He was smiling. To Tana Otham Nation families breathing a sigh of relief Wednesday after four days of searching for their loved ones. 61 year old Thomas Lewis and 52 year old Philip Poncho finally found safe. He knew it was us, but he just didn't know what was going on. 12 News speaking with them shortly after getting the news. He was very hungry, very thirsty and he said he can't wait to lay down in his own bed. Thomas and Philip went missing Friday while visiting the Arizona State Fair as part of a program that provides services like day trips to tribal members with mental disabilities. The nation reports the two men did not meet up with the group when they were scheduled to leave, but the families tell 12 News they were not notified of their disappearance until hours later after the group had left the state fair. Phoenix police tell 12 News it was Thomas's family who reported him missing Saturday at 1.30 in the morning. The Tana Autumn Nation then issuing a missing reports bulletin three days after the men vanished. It was very upsetting, very upsetting. How do you leave two of your members behind? Philip was found Sunday night, taken to Tempe St. Luke's Hospital as a John Doe. He had suffered a seizure and couldn't communicate with staff. They recognized him Tuesday off the missing persons flyer. Now family tells me it was Thomas who flagged someone on the street to get Philip some help after he had a seizure at a Tempe bus stop. While Philip was taken away, Thomas was left behind. Thomas found nine miles away from there in Mesa Wednesday outside an apartment complex. He recognized us right away. He was already smiling and um, as soon as I embraced him with the hug, we were both in tears. It's still unclear why the men were unsupervised at the fair. Thana Otham Nation did not answer 12 News questions about the sequence of events, but said in a statement announcing the men were found, they are reviewing policies to ensure that this never happens again. What do you hope happens next? I believe the program should be held accountable, um, especially with these vulnerable adults. Adriana Loya, 12 News.